No one loves tomorrow, and you are stellified. This rocket starts to blaze, and now I'm flying to the sky. What's up, gamers? How are you doing today? 2023 is coming to an end. Thank Christ. God, this year's been blood. Ugh. Just what's going on, we've had war after war, celebrity death, celebrity paedophile about to be exposed. One thing that's really annoying me more than all that, that's right, I said it. What? You what? The film's selection this year. I tell you what, in the 20 years I've been on this planet, and I've roamed the lands as a free little sperm egg. That's not how it works. I have never been so disappointed and just so much crap this year, but we're going to go through the my film of the year and my TV show of the year. No. I'll be honest, I'm not seeing them all because I don't waste time with things I don't want to. So we're going to go through these. I'm not actually seeing Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey, but I'll be honest, this is uh, far too scary for me. Children of Porn, Children of Corn, um, 2023, but it came out in 2020. Nice one, Imadubba. Murder Mystery, I watched that not sober, so I don't remember what happened. It was at a mate's. Oh, 65, that was pretty poor, bro. I'm really shocked Kylo Ren agreed to do that. It doesn't make any sense. Ghosted, that should be a 10 out of 10 just because it's got her in it. You know what I'm talking about, baby. You know what I mean. Um, Meg 2, didn't see the first one. Magic Mike's actually my film of the year, so I'm not sure what it's doing on there. It was just a sensational. Absolute fantastic film. I couldn't be happier. Peter and Pan. I mean, Peter and Pan. <laughs> Peter Pan and Wendy, they're running out of titles, so they just threw in the female there. The Mother, not seen it. It's Fast and Furious, I stopped, I think, after Fast and Furious 3. Operation Fortune, you know, I actually did watch that. I didn't think it was horrific. That's a, that, You know, I, I would have watched it again, but, I, you know, I thought it was what I signed up for, a free film my parents pay for a subscription for. That is just a bit of a laugh. Protect your kid. Rise of the Beast, I watched that on a plane. They've truly fallen off. Super Mario. I really enjoyed that film. I also I watched these two on the same flight. I actually really enjoyed that, you know. Super Mario I thought was a good film, I can't lie. Blue Beetle, not seen it. But because I'm miserable, I always do the bad stuff first. But we're going to go through the best films this year. Godzilla was great. I don't think it's my game, uh, my game, my film of the year. Oh, by the way, we're doing game of the year tomorrow. I'm um, writing a few notes down today and getting all that stuff out of the way. TMNT, that was cool. Barbie. Do you want to know something really funny about Barbie? I've not seen it. I've just not seen it. I'm sorry. Super Mario I enjoyed. Oppenheimer was good, but it's so long. So long. My ADHD brain just can't sit and fizzle with it for too long. Guardians of the Galaxy, I think, honestly, that might be contender for the best Marvel film in the past, like, since Endgame or something, whichever was the last one. Fast X. <laughs> Spider-Man. Pretty decent. My film. The greatest film to come out this year. John Wick 4. What... A load of brilliant stuff this film is. I'll get my complaints dish and dealt. I think some of the fights are actually too long, and I mean that seriously. Far too long. Some of them you're just like, alright, this is going on, 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 and I know they wanted to make it the coolest one. And don't get me wrong, it's my film of the year. The action, the violence, the oh, John Wick's just incredible. And I was thinking about this, they need to make a John Wick game and like have it proper, you know, like a proper shooter. And we got 440 at the box office, which is weird. It should be a billion dollar film. Like th this is truly my film of the year. A great, great film. And I don't I don't think it'll be the end, but I do think it's the great end that could have been John Wick. Oh, I love the Asian guys. Donnie Ren, what's his name? Donnie Yen as Kane. Oh, incredible. Such a good casting. Now, I was going to do TV shows, but I realised I've not actually watched a lot of TV shows. Um, it's been a bit of a sad year for me, so I seem to have just rehearsed the same two shows over and over. The Office and, Break it, uh, and Brooklyn Nine-Nine. That's not right. My show has got to be this. I know it came out a weird time, but it counts for me. I was unsure about this. The casting, I didn't like the idea of Pedro Pascal as Joel. Call me racist, but to me, Joel is a white Texas man. But he did it really well. Really, really well. I really enjoyed it. Everything that they changed from Bill and Ted. Uh, is it not Bill and Ted? Bill and Ted saved the universe. What's he called? Bill and Frank. Bill and Frank, I really liked their episode. A lot of people thought he was just like thrown in there but i thought it fit perfectly it's a shame we won't see any of them again though that's the only annoying thing um i'll be honest joel i really like bella ramsey she's not bad but i don't think she's good i'll be frank i'm not sold on it i'll be frank hey, hey. i'm not sold on her just yet room for improvement always but do you see her as an older ellie getting revenge or trying to get revenge for joel mm -mm. i bloody don't that's for certain I, I just i like her in game of thrones she's brilliant it's nothing against the actor because she's a they all right you scumbags it's nothing to do with that i just am not solely convinced on her performance yet give her another season hey ho here we go you know i've kind of made this video and just kind of thought why the fuck am i doing this who cares about your opinion who's interested in it and the answer is no one but tomorrow i'm going to be doing a much better video or maybe even tonight uh, it'll be my game of the year i've got two games of the year and here's a quick 
spoiler, a potential insight into what it is. Neither game came out originally this year, which is probably tells you all you need to know about the gaming scene currently, eh? Hey. Eh?